Hello, nhớ cho nhớ phố như Nam mô cô hát tạp bê yô Tìm khăn chê nà nà One line fish It's a very very popular fish In Thailand They serve in those big classic hotel And it's very good But before we do the Steaming the fish We must clean the fish And I know that um, A lot of you ladies are expert on cleaning fish So this is only for those Yeah, like my daughter my daughter is like, how old are you, Nicole? 25. 25, and she does not know how to clean fish. So I'm going to teach some young nya how to clean fish first. And then after that, then we're going to do another video where we actually um, sting the fish in the microwave. Okay, because now our nya, we need to know how to do magic when we cook. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera into fish cleaning. Um, here it is. Difficulty. Okay. Huh? Yeah, one cup is perfect. Okay, so when you clean the fish, a lot of you guys are expert on fish, but when you clean the fish, you have to clean it under water. You have to put it inside the water because if you don't clean it under the water, you will splatter the, the, the scale all over your sink, then mother in law. Or your mother will be mad at you. You're not married, okay? So the fish, Nana, it was given to me by my friend. Uh, by yeah, and Donning. This is a walleye. Okay, it's a big, beautiful walleye. I don't know what I did with my fish cleaning tool. So I have this uh, papaya scraper. So I am going to use this one to clean my fish. So if you do it, do it under the water like that. Okay, you hold the head and you do it like this. But before I'm doing that, I'm going to cut off the fin because if you don't cut off the fin, you're going to poke yourself. So you're going to cut off all these fins. Okay, use a nice scissor, sharp scissor, and cut all these. If you don't, you're going to poke yourself and then you'll let your, you're gonna be in pain. So just cut all these fins, okay? Cut them all so it's easier to clean. Okay. And I'm going to cut these two because these are pretty sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure you cut all these fins before you start scraping it. So you won't cook yourself. Okay. Oh shoot, I cut my I cut my gloves. What's the purpose of wearing a glove when you cut it? Get water in there. Okay. So you make sure you cut all these fins before you start cleaning your fish or you're going to poke yourself. So do it under the water. If you clean your fish under the water, you will not get any of these scales all over your kitchen. Okay, so it will not be a mess. Okay. Yo, me me clean me tonganjina, me clean it okay. Okay. You're very, very smart. you kitchen smart. Some people are book smart. Some people are street smart. But as a nya, you are kitchen smart. So any utensil you have in there, you can use it. Okay. So if you don't have a fish cleaner thingy, you can use the papaya scraper. Or, you know what, I'm going to use this side, I think this side is better. Okay. You can do this one, or you can even use a spoon. So you can get a spoon too, you could do a spoon. Okay, but a spoon will be a little bit harder, you know, but you can use a spoon. A spoon's fine too, you know, but I think it's harder to use this one, so we're going to continue to use this one. Okay. I don't know where my little, I have a special one to clean my fish, but for some reason, I think my son must have used it to clean his toy or something. I don't know. When you have more than one people in the kitchen, you likely will lose a lot of stuff. Especially when you have kids too, they will. And another thing, yeah, yeah, 
Whenever you use, whenever you work, always use a towel. This is what I learned from my grandma. You put a towel right in front of you, you know, so when you clean, you don't get yourself all wet. Okay. All right. So I think my fish is almost clean. Your walai ma is very hard to clean. I hate one thing. I hate the most uh, cleaning fish. I hate walai cleaning walai because it's just scale and it's so tiny and so hard to clean. So if it's walai, wouldn't yasu because I love eating walai, but I hate cleaning walai because it's so hard to clean. The scales are so like tiny. So I think we use cautious shopping on it. It's much easier for me so I can get all the little scale off my fish. Almost done. If you do it underwater, you will not just splat all over. Okay. Mm -hmm. it looks looking good. Okay. Make your it make a good game. Make your expert. Now you guys could teach me too because I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to do all these stuff. Because every kitchen has their own tricks of how to do stuff. You know? So you can teach me how to clean walleye because you know Virginia clean walleye little. Then it's only me. I know my it's like so hard to clean because they're so like tied together. You know, I'd rather clean like white bass because my dog is on on a luna, but well, like it's almost so tiny, so hard. It's a shame what it like, but it's a plan to do it under the water. No, it's okay. You can hear some noise in the background because my daughter is here. We are making galapao. So she wants to try it first to see if it turns good. If it turns out good, then she will allow me to take her on live on Facebook. But at the moment, at the moment, she wants to be secretive. She's a, she's too shy. She's learning how to be a nyakopa. You know. Go to daughter, you know, when she was nine years old, I taught her how to make nava. When she was nine years old, she was a little bit of a auntie in law boy. She was a little bit Nine years old, she knows how to make nava, like kalasong. Uh, yeah, she can make them from scratch. She knows how to make rice, kapong, everything. So. Well trained to be a nya. I know. I'm not very good at cleaning fish. I hate cleaning fish. Alright, so here it is. All done. The walleye is all clean. Okay, clean underwater so you will not have your kitchen filled with um, scale. Okay? And you don't want to plug your sink either because it could just like pull it out. Okay, it's all done. I still have a few in here. I hate cleaning fish. If I have a mother-in-law, I would break her. I would like have a meow. I say that to my mother-in-law and make her do it for me. Okay, so it's all done. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to cut it open. A lot of you guys already know how to do this, so you can ignore this part, okay? But this is for those nya who are new. See, Nicola. See, all of these scales go into the bottom. Okay. Then you can turn this out. Okay. So now you. 
learn this but for for those nya who are new all the way all the way to the lips here okay and then from here go a little bit deeper all the way to the mouth how many of you guys hate to clean fish i do oh you know you are these are eggs, you know that? These are eggs. You know, I don't want the I don't want the fat, but I do want the eggs. So these are eggs. Okay, Michelle, these are eggs. Okay. So I don't want any of these junk, but I want the eggs. So I'm gonna cut it from there. Okay, and then Tashinona. You can rip up the whole you don't want to eat any of this part, okay? So you just rip off all of this. Okay. Then we got all of this out. There, it's all done. Throw that in the trash. Okay, and then you leave you with the... Leave you with the eggs, okay? So... All finished. Your fish is ready. Just wash it really, really good. Okay. All ready. Now, we are done with our fish cleaning and I will see you at the next video. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to see you at the next video where we're going to actually steam the fish okay so see you in about two minutes okay what you want to me shake go um think i'm china sorry holly can a woman who is not afraid of clean fish and her husband and family worth every penny thank you very much yep He's so I'll see you in just two minutes.